Good Friday morning. Come on, weekends here, right? Rah, rah. Awesome. Love our weekend time. I know it gets to be a busy time with school ending, graduations, a lot of stuff going on, but keep us in mind on Sunday, right? Love to have you join me online. Uh, 1030 this Sunday morning, I'll be online sharing. It's Pentecost Sunday for those of you who are familiar with church. So check us out a little bit there. We'd love to see you and have you join us online or in person. I want to read this passage of scripture to you and listen to the words. We've been talking about it all week about how we can change our lives and live our lives for the better as we live them for God. Romans 12, 1 and 2, Passion Translation. Beloved friends, what should our proper response be to God's marvelous mercies? He answers it. To surrender ourselves to God by being His sacred living sacrifice and live in holiness, experiencing what delights the Lord. For this becomes your genuine expression of worship, he says. And here's what he goes on to say. Stop imitating. Here's how we make the change. Stop imitating the ideals and opinions and cultures of the world and be inwardly changed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation of how you think. And this will empower you to discern God's will as you live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in his eyes. Wow, what a great couple of verses. God tells us right there in his word, Romans 12, 1 and 2, the Passion Translation, how we can adjust and change our lives and live a beautiful, satisfying life. That's what I desire for you. That's why I do this every morning. Let me pray for you today. Will you pray with me? Pause for a moment. Father, I pray for every mo- uh, everyone watching this morning. I pray they would find that beautiful and satisfying life that's found in a relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have an awesome weekend. See you Monday morning.